What's going on, you jabronis? How you guys doing today? Welcome back into Susquehanna River Valley. Look at these golden fields. Guys, I've been gone for... Oh, oh, plane. Oh, wait, that, that's a helicopter. Where's the plane? I, I'm so confused. I could have swore I just saw the helicopter or the plane. The plane shadow just went by, I swear. I am not going crazy. Well, maybe I am. Guys, we just got back from a little mini vacay here. And you know what? You take you try to leave the farm for a bit. And well, now look at this place. It's Harvest Central. And I've I have I'm so far behind. I don't even know where to get started. Um we better get busy harvesting. We got lots to go on. In fact, this guy, crew, you guys you guys know I love this K7150, but there is one small problem. We need some we need to talk about this and we need to do something about this to help us out. Let's get to work. Pitter batter, let's go! Oh boy, we've been wearing out the paint on the 7150. Look at this. We got some skid marks up on the top there. Uh, you know what? This has been a great harvester. Uh, we've got quite a few hours on this, actually. There is the one caveat. If you guys have been following the series here, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. The 7150 is well, bad on gas. It goes through, well, fuel, diesel. It goes through a ton of diesel. It seems like every time we get done a field or halfway through a field, we're fueling this thing up. And speaking of which, if, if you're new to the series, of course, well, welcome in. Make sure you guys go down to the bottom, hit that big old subscribe button. And if you are brand new to the channel here, well, welcome in, folks. Good to have you guys tagging along with us. Good to have you here. So other than that, everything else, you know what? I'm pretty happy with, well, we've got some decent equipment. I would like to get some bigger tractor still, that bull. The bull is still killing it. I love this tractor. But you know what? The rest of our fleet is, is starting to show its age with the old John Deere down there. It's all, well, She's she's been used and abused. The Massey, we've got like, eh, we've got a few hours on that thing. But the bull is our main tractor now. But as for combines, this has got to be an upgrade now. Guys, I, well, you see the bank account, the balance there. We had almost half a million bucks before. I had debated on buying more land, and that's still in the plans. But the land is, well, it's not up for sale yet. So we're going to be, um, we're going to upgrade this. Well, not upgrade. We're going to keep this. We're going to run two, two combines. We're going to run two combines. And yeah, this is sticking around. We're still going to need this, unfortunately. Well, what I wanted to upgrade to, it... it Costs us pretty much everything we owe, plus a couple hundred thousand dollars on top of that. Well, let's talk more about that. Let's head up to the shop. Let me show you what I got. Can I get an Uber? Call someone call me an Uber. There, there she is. A little under seven hundred thousand dollars for well this setup. Of course, the ninety two fifty. This is the brand new ninety two fifty. This is JHHG's ninety two fifty. Oh man, fantastic, fantastic harvester. And um, well, it's got the big top on there. It's gonna hold. 26,000 liters. Let me jump up on top. Can I get up on the hood? On the roof? Come on. Get up on the roof clutch. There we go. 26,000 liters of grains are going to fit in this thing. This is going to make my harvesting life just a little bit better. I mean, we can hold, what is it, 16,000, I think, with the 9150. But this this one here. Oh, watch out for the stairs. This one. 26,000. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, we, we had to add on, well, we had to add on a, a hitch to tow around our headers, of course. And we went with the long foldable pipe. Foldable pipe will at least give us some opportunities to move this into some of our shops. We don't have a lot of space for some of this stuff, so being able to fold the pipe, and it's the extra long pipe. So, uh, yeah, that's going to make my life a little bit easier as well. Look at that thing. That thing's massive. And, I mean, to go along with it, we got the, the 45-foot Draper header as well. Of course, another Capello header, an 18 row header there. So we've got both for our, our mostly corn and of course our bean head. So we could do both there. We're going to be, it's, it's fully, we're going to be able to have two combines. We're going to have to get Gertie and Matilda out in the fields, guys. Now I thought about going to a tract. There was an option we could own with a tract combine on this. It was an extra cost. And I personally, my personal opinion, I find that the wheels just do better out here in Susquehanna. Now as well, we could have went with doubles. We could have went duels. But I think that these big Goodyears, these big, these big monster truck Goodyears we got here, I think these ones here are going to be the best for our fields as well. We've got some kind of small gates to fit through. So I was a little concerned about having the duels stick out a little bit further. I don't know if they stick out farther than this Capello header, but still, any way I could kind of mitigate and keep things a little bit thinner, uh, I think we're going to be better off. Same with the rear axle. You do have an option to extend. We can extend these rear wheels out a little bit further. I didn't want to go with that. I wanted to keep everything kind of compact so we can get through some of the gates we got to go through as we as we traverse uh, traverse the county here. So, crew, I'm going to be jumping in this. Uh, oh, man, I would usually get Bubba to, uh, to give me a hand with this. I don't know where he's at today. I checked the shop. He's nowhere to be found. So I'm going to just drive this down the highway. Oh, man. Can I get a... I'll, go, I'll run inside, see if I can get some flag tape maybe for the back of the header here. 
because there's there's not much here it's i mean it's got it's got the sign i guess that's something oh yeah please don't don't tell the dot man it's a good thing we didn't get the track version could you imagine having the tracks down this guys we barely fit between the guardrails here and, and, and by barely i mean i mean barely there is literally i bet you it's about a foot on either side right now if I had any kind of a... If you could get a bigger Capello header, I think we'd be in a, in a lot of trouble. Right now, we just seem to barely be able to fit. I'm not complaining. Let's just get it down the hill, please. New Combine has made it down the hill. We, we we made it down successfully. I don't think many people saw us. We While well, we came we came down all the, the way down that hill, I only had like three or four cars behind me the whole way down. There was no way they were passing, but we got down somewhat successfully. Let's take the bull. Let's go get a bin and uh, get that auger wagon hooked up. And, uh, yeah, that way we'll have some place to dump this stuff, too. I'm going to need to figure out a few other things here, guys. We're going to need to get the truck out as well, I think. Yeah, to run some... Uh, we got beans. we got a lot of beans to go take care of today. And, uh, you know what? That combine set up. In fact, you can see it right there. we got beans to take care of. The corn is almost due as well. Watch over the bridge. Uh, the corn over here is almost ready to rock as well. And uh, we'll take care of that soon enough. And then I've also got beets. we got some sugar beets to harvest. <laughs> it never ends. we got so much stuff to take care of here. Like I said, you, you take vacation for a couple of days and all of a sudden, you, everything's ready to go. Oh boy. Uh, look at all the beads. Look at all those beans! You guys ever notice how I'm pretty much always out of fuel with something? Seriously. Chug a lug, chug a lug. Here, let me load this up. Grab some fuel out of this. Uh, we'll fill up the bowl. Uh, we've got... What do we got for... Where's my bin? Where's my bin at? I had it. I know I just had it here. Where... Oh, it's over here. It's over here. It's in the back almost always forget where i put that thing there we go bins right here let's get this thing loaded up all right so we'll see how we make do i'm just really hoping that that combine doesn't go through the fuel like our 9150 does that thing is ridiculous i swear i mean i've never filled up a, a combine like i've never filled up anything as many times as i've had to fill that up um it, it's a good combine other than that i'm just really hoping this new case does not have that same that same issue only one way to find out though let's open the tarp up on this bad boy leave it right here for now this is good enough i think um, this is a nice looking fleet though. Look at this. This is great. We got the Demco. We've got a JM auger wagon and we got the new case. Things are looking good, guys. All right, moment of truth. Let's fire this on up. If I remember what button that was, that'd be great. There we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, we need to unfold this first. Stairs move out and away. Uh, that should also move our auger. Yeah, the auger should come out the back as well. The pipe should extend. Now we should be able to drop down the header. Nice. All right. I think yeah, I think we're ready for some beans, guys. Let's give this thing a shot. See how she goes. Perfect. Watch out for the uh, the pipes there. Wouldn't that be a thing just to like run into the fence right off the bat with a brand new combine? <laughs> Spend seven hundred thousand dollars on a combine and run it into a fence right off the chute. Oh, that would be painful. That would be seriously painful. All right. Looking good. Let me make sure we get close to the edge here. We'll run this around a couple of times. You know what? So we're at 3% already. Not, not bad. We're going to be able to do most of this field, I bet, with one, one bin. We have this, this massive hopper on the roof of this thing. I'm really not all that concerned about space. Like, it's going to... 26,000 liters of beans we're going to be able to put in this thing. That's actually pretty... That's not bad. That's a lot of money we're going to be able to get off one well, one load of a combine. Uh, we'll see if we even need this. the truck. Well, we've got all this stuff over here too so there's gonna be a lot of harvesting going on still i just really wanted to run this up in the field give this brand new combine a shot because this thing is is not bad looking oh boy let's go let's go okay so we're not going to quite get a, the full field in one dump but i mean we're less than 50 percent off one full headland uh guys that's 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 not bad considering like well i mean it's twenty six thousand liters of course it's not bad that's great. You know what? We'll get this. Keep on going through this. I'm, I'm kind of going opposite of what I normally do, but that's okay. We're going to get back to this spot in a bit here and dump out right here. But that's uh, that's reasonable, folks. All right. We'll zoop back around. Get another headland done, and we'll empty this thing out. Last pass. Not, not bad. I think we dumped out a couple of times. But uh, I'm pretty impressed with this so far. This is great. You know, this is going to be a nice addition. Like I said, we're going to keep the other combine as well. Uh, so I can hopefully double it up. We'll get, yeah, we can get Gertie. We can get Matilda out here. Oh, man. We get lots of harvesting going on. Let me go dump this into the bin here. Look at the size of the pipe on this thing. Uh, you know what? I was able to reach over, like, the full cab of the truck even to get it right into this bin. It worked out pretty well, guys. I, I was kind of surprised. I mean, look at this. I, I got, like, what? Six feet to spare here. And I'm almost overshooting right now. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. That's great. That's going to help us out a ton. 
when we get some big harvest going on. Not, not that this bean harvest isn't big by any means, but we get a bunch of combines going. We get some people in the field with us. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good. All right, that's probably about half that truck. Let's get into the second field here in a bit. Oh well, well, well. Who who do we have here? We don't new toy on the farm, and of course, look look who shows up. What is he driving? Hang on a second. Let's go, let's go take a look at this. Newell, Newell, what are you doing here? Uh, you know, I'm just cruising around in my grocery getter here. Uh, grocery getter. This this looks pretty impressive for a grocery getter. I thought it was orange and orange and green though. What happened to that? Oh, we had to put that one in hiding. That, that's that's too special for this area. Oh, okay. So this is an upgrade. All right. Um, this this it's is downgrade. Gro Whatever. Grocery getter. Not up. Not bad. I like the rivets on this thing. I don't know if I've seen this your truck before. This is a nice. Uh, is this like special edition or anything? Oh, absolutely, new all edition. Oh, the new edition. The new wall edition. I like it. I like that. Um, so you heard about my new combine, right? Uh, I've heard tales of it. Yes. Okay. Oh, let me let me show you. Let me show you. You, you got to drive this thing. This is the brand new case 9250. Just just got. I literally just picked this up this afternoon. Uh, managed to get this one field off. But this thing is this thing's pretty sweet. Do you, do you want to take it for a drive? Oh, absolutely. I, I knew you would. I mean, I, you got a bunch of orange stuff at your farm, so. Uh, I knew you'd want to take this thing for a cruise. Um, we got. Hang on a sec. You see the field straight ahead of you there? That's all got to get. Get. Oh, I'm jumping everywhere here. That's all got to go in the harvester. So you can. Oh, thanks. That that helps. You can take care of that that whole field if you want. Um, in fact, I'll go grab by the harvester. We can go twinsies. We'll we'll do double damage. All right. Sounds good. All right, man. See, look at this. We got we got people to do our own work for us. This is like perfect. This, this is, this like is perfect. I love field. this. Get, get in there, Newell. Go do some work. Ah, maybe I should go grab grab some brown waters or something just hang out and watch them the whole time no no we, we better grab the other one we'll grab the 7150 and uh we'll go across guys it, it's fine it'll be fun uh what do we got for fuel i always gotta check this one for fuel make sure we got enough because well literally i've ran out of fuel like three times in this thing in the last couple months it seems like uh, hey newell you got your ears on yeah big 10 four good buddy all right, all right how's that how's that case that red looks really good on you how's it look how's it treating you Oh, this thing is awesome. I'm telling you, if it was green, it'd be the bee's knees. If it was green, it'd be the bee... Oh, man. Don't you start. Don't you start. Uh, don't you drive on... I thought you wanted a Stara. I thought that's what you said you wanted was a Stara on your farm. Yeah, but the import costs are killing me, so we just had to give up on that dream. Ah, uh, fair enough. That's probably for the best. I mean, it, it would be more than the import cost. You probably have to deal with the mechanical cost, too. Ask me how I know. It would It would be a huge upgrade for the area. I don't think that's so. I'm going to I'm gonna have, to, I, I'm have to balk on that one. Let's keep it red. Hey, hey Newell, are you... Uh, just a touch. Oh, right, perfect. Let's let's see how, how long it takes each one of these to, uh, to empty out. You've got like 10,000 more liters than I do. So I'm kind of curious to see which one unloads fastest. Uh, there's no way. There's no way you can unload faster than me, but we'll find out. That, that new combine? Oh, there we go. Drop right in. Let's see. I'll wait for you to get your pipe over there. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Are you close? Nice. All right. There we go. Double, double dump time. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right, I gotta watch this. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of soybeans. Perfect. It's kind of strange. Yours is kind of coming out darker than mine. That's weird. Huh? Did you, you dye those soybeans when they're under hopper? What would you do to my beans? Come on, Newell. Special sauce. <laughs> Can't tell you. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I hope this bin doesn't fill up. Oh, good. I'm empty. Nice. How much you got left? Uh, 5,000 liters right now. Okay, yeah, that's about right then. That makes about sense. All right. So they empty about the same speed. That's good to know. But you got 10,000 liters more than I do, so um, that's still way better. That's crazy. Cool. All right, we still got a little bit left to harvest. Probably another uh, two laps, it looks like. So might as well get back at her. You good to go? Oh, yeah. All right, buddy. Oh, boy. You know what? That was a pretty quick harvest, guys. With two combines in this field, this is one of my, you know, bigger fields for sure. But with two combines, we, we made pretty quick work of this and that new that new 9250 guys that thing is amazing uh, I'm, I'm jealous here i'm driving old betsy basically that goes through so much fuel i think i spend more on fuel than i do on like lease payments for this thing i swear and then look at the speed look at the speed of that thing he is just literally flying back there while harvesting oh man that's a i'm so happy with this combine this is gonna be great all right no that's uh that's the end of that field already that was pretty quick work with both of us both of us in there what do you think? You, you in the market for a 9250? I don't know. It's pretty convincing. I like it. Yeah. Did I sell it? Did I sell it to you? I mean, I'm, it's better than anything else you're running. I know you're, you're team green. Come on. Nothing wrong with this case. This thing's fantastic. I mean, but it's so red. <laughs> this, it is. It is awfully red. 
Uh, are you going to stick around for a bit? I got another field I need to harvest over there. Yeah, let's do it. All right, man. We'll stick around. Uh, we got some more to take care of, but uh, this is going to take us a bit more time still. So, folks, we're going to wrap things up here. I'm going to take care of, well, some more beans with our brand new combines. I can see if I'm getting Newell in there. Make sure you guys go check out Newell as well. I'll put a link for his channel down in the description. He's out here on the server with us working away on Susquehanna River Valley. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Slap like. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, you can get this combine. This combine. The 9250 off the Mod Hub. The JHHG. Fantastic combine. Love this thing. It's real nice. But anyways, folks, have a great day, and we'll catch you next time. From Susquehanna River Valley, this is Clutch. Over and out. Thank you.